does your phone slow down when playing heavy games or even just casual usage because your RAM is small? Well, there's some Android apps that claim to give you additional RAM on your phone. But the question is, is it legit or is it a scam? Well, we'll find out in this video. Hey guys, James here. Great to see you all again, and this is Tech MNO. As you all know by now, every year in the Android space, smartphone brands including the devices with more on the gaming side like the ROG phones, Black Shark, and even the new Poco F3 GT and the Realme GT are rocking enormous amounts of RAM now, like 8 gigs, 12 gigs, and heck, even rocking out 16 gigs of RAM, beating or even on par with the gaming laptops in the market. But here comes the average consumers like us who can't afford to buy those phones and ending up getting 6 gigs or worse 4 or even 3 gigs of RAM. And over the course of the time, we can feel that our phones are getting slower and slower as the more apps are installed and wishing that we can expand our RAM capacity just like our storage. Well, some apps in the Play Store are claiming that they can help you give that extra boost without spending extra cash and most importantly, without avoiding and breaking your phone. So in this video, we will try one app that allegedly gives us RAM boost by using swap files without root. And let's see if this is legit or not. But before we test and discuss this topic, make sure you subscribe to our channel, click that like and the bell button to get you notified when a new video will come out. And of course, don't forget to like and follow me on my social media accounts at TechMNO. And finally, a disclaimer. If you're scared to do this thing on your phone and it might break or damage your phone, please don't try it. I will have no liability if anything happens on your devices. Try this at your own risk. With that being said, let's go with our discussion. So what is a swap file? Swap file, also known as virtual RAM or VRAM, is a temporary and or a virtual extension of your phone's RAM system by getting some storage space of the device's internal or external storage and memory and mimicking it as a RAM. This feature was somewhat available on Android phones back in the day and it's one of the things rooted phones are using since then. However, as only a small number of people can root their phones like me, this thing is a brand new knowledge. This feature is somewhat booming now because the brands like Oppo and Vivo, which is under the BBK Electronics umbrella, are introducing this to their new phones like the Vivo X60 and the newly announced Oppo Reno 6 series calling it virtual RAM that uses internal memory from a default storage capacity, like for the X60 that has 3 gigs of virtual RAM, making the 8 gigs of default RAM to 11 gigs. Now, I already gave you a little information about the swap file or virtual RAM. Let's go ahead and try an app called Swap No Root. It claims that it can help create a swap file to give your phone's onboard RAM a helping hand without rooting your phone. I will link the app in the video description below. I will test this app on my Poco M3 smartphone which only has 4 gigs of RAM and it gives some signs of sluggishness and lag when I play some heavy games like the King of Fighters All-Star. I will also link my review video in the card up there. And for fairness, I will clear all apps after I save and delete swap files before doing some benchmarks. After that, I will give the phone a 5-10 to 10 minute rest so that the temperature will drop somewhat to avoid throttling the phone's performance. First test, we will start the benchmark without any swap files inserted to the phone. We will go ahead and click that start button. After that benchmark test, the final score was 174,366 points and the temperature went up 2 degrees from 34 to 36 degrees Celsius. It's not too warm to touch but I feel some hot spots on the phone. Now we're done with the benchmark without a swap file and I already rested the phone for like 10 minutes. 
let's go ahead and put some swap files on my Poco M3. We will click the swap no root file app. Once you're in the app, you'll enter how many megabytes or MBs you want to put on the phone as a swap or virtual RAM. In this test, we will put 1026 megabytes, which translates to one gigabyte if we convert it. Click create swap, a little bit of ads there if the Wi-Fi is on, and there's a pop-up message saying that the swap file is now created. And just to make sure it's already there, go to your file manager, click Android, and then data, then look for the file name that says swap no root and click files. You may see the swap file there at 1.08 gigabytes as we put it there. Now we already have a swap file and we already close all of the other apps open. Let's go ahead and put it on the benchmark. Alright, we're done with the benchmark and the final score was 175,288 and the temperature went up by 1.5 degrees Celsius from 36 to 37.4 degrees. So as we can see, the scores between the benchmark with a swap file and without are almost close to each other but the test with the swap file has higher points compared to the test without. A mere 922 points to be exact. So I tried to give it another shot without recording it and the results are close again between each other but the twist is that the test without a swap file is much higher than the test with that swap file. 170,718 points with a swap file and 172,836 points without. That's a 2,118 point deficit. Now, here are the things I noticed when I put up a swap file. Before I test all of this, I try to research all of the stuff I need to check on the swap files. I will link some website forums and YouTube videos in the description. And there I see that when I install and open an app called Memory Info and Swap Check, there's no changes in the swap file memory at 2.20 gigs. In context, I already tried to delete the swap file and double check it, and it turns out that the swap file memory is still at 2.20 gigs, even without a swap file. That means this app is a complete hoax. This is just a memory and storage hogger, and there's no real improvements on my testing. Now, we've already tested the swap node root app on my phone. The question now is, is it legit and helpful? The answer is no. Well, some of the people will say it's legit, Right now, it's really possible to believe in it because I checked an app and saw that there's no additional 1 gig on the swap file that I already put. And that's with a lot of force stops and reboots on my phone just to make it sure. And just to add fuel to the fire, there's also a rooted version of this app available on Play Store which is quite sketchy for me now. So the only solution to this problem is to buy a phone that has a bigger RAM configuration and always check your preference and usage workflow before buying any phones. And after this video, I will just uninstall this app immediately because it's a trash app after all. Again, my name is James and I will see you guys on the next one.